sometimes doing the show can be tiring, isn't it? But, you know, we gotta do it, unfortunately. <sighs> you know, sometimes I kind of wish I could spend more time, like, you know, watching other movies, watching shows. Like, you know, like Dementia 13, which I recently got. Transformers the movie. Uh, Voodoo Apocalypse. Journey to the West. And perhaps even... Alistar Galactica? The original and reboot? Oh wait, this is not foreshadowing. But we're not, we're gonna move on from that. Because today's review is a film called Trial and Error? Yeah. Film stars Michael, film stars Richard, Richard Michaels. You probably know him. He was from Seinfeld. He was also in UHF. Big office, I have a big car, and a big, uh, I'm big. Oh, wait, I've only seen him from UHF, so yeah, I didn't watch Seinfeld. Yeah, so today's film is, oh, and he also stars Jeff Daniels, and it's the fourth film of Charlie's Throne. Okay, just breathe, calm down. Okay, so I guess we're going to get right into it. The film originally came out in 1997. It was PG-13, PG and it was a comedy. It's not the kind of comedy like, say, um, Pinhead or, say, Screwed. Well, maybe it is kind of like Screwed in the fact that a character is, you know, trying to, they're trying to pull, uh, you know, continue a lie, and that, uh, Michael, I mean, Richard Michael's character plays an actor who is having to take over for his friend, who is a lawyer, and the lawyer is in trouble because he realizes, oh no, I'm, I have been intoxicated, so I need someone to take my place at the, my court date of the century. Yeah, that's exactly what happens. And he, the court case, he is having to defend a con man. And yeah, I'll, honestly, the court case is actually, I'll be honest, when I first started watching this film, I thought, oh, oh, <laughs> like that. I mean, I guess because I kind of thought, oh. I'm not laughing, I'm not laughing, but eventually, I guess it kind of felt like saying, uh, I don't want to watch this, but as the film went on, I kind of realized, okay, the concept, it seems like, you know, like, this has been done for, like, you know, like, say, whether it is, like, say, someone gets sick, and they're having to pretend to be the other, that's been done a lot, and whether it's film or TV, or something like that, or someone having to pretend to be someone because of someone wants an objective. However, I kind of think this film makes it work in the fact that Jeff Daniels is trying to be, is the straight-laced guy. I think that I'm the lawyer now, <laughs> and that means I have to keep being the lawyer. <laughs> and that he is the serious one who is the law you're trying to realize like, no, we gotta do this by the book. Whereas, uh, Richard's character is the actor in Egypt, so I say, I am not good, I'm not sure how to do this. I am an actor. Let's just, I'm gonna put on a good show. And, oh yeah, and also forgot that, uh, who was it? Rip Torn is also in this film, and, in all honesty, he does a pretty good job. Oh, chilling cold. That's why, folks, our town isn't just a desert fuck stop to me. It's the warm home I've always dreamed of. Objection! What is the relevance of- As, like, the guy who is basically scamming and ripping people off and he's on court date. The, uh, judge of the film, this guy, he just realized like, oh. But he seems like he's having a lot of fun in the role, in all honesty. 
Like he's just like saying, oh, but and it's actually it's pretty cool seeing how Charlie's thrown. Like you know how we've always seen her as this badass, like you know, action usually roles. It's like you know it's kind of cool being in like a role where she's kind of has more of a humorous role and you know well she's done comedy films before but you know like in the earlier role that she's probably not many people will remember for her, but heck i could you know like sometimes like when we do like say the voice thing on remote this didn't really come up when i did that on tv so yeah kind of had to uh special order it uh and honestly at the end of the day, I actually kind of think this is actually kind of funny. I think the best moment is when uh uh Jeff Bridges' character, af wait no, Jeff Daniels' character, after he's been kicked out of the courtroom, he has to figure out how do I get back in there. His uh, idea, climb through the roof of the building and somehow he falls through the ceiling of the century. The defense rests! And he goes like, say, the defense shall stand. We shall stand. Or something like that. And yeah. Uh, but then eventually, uh, it's revealed, like, say, hey, I'm getting married, but, you know, I'm not sure I like the girl. And I'm just doing it because that's ex what's expected of me, I guess. So, I mean, I'm going to be honest, overall, it makes me interested in kind of checking out Seinfeld, because I thought Richards did a pretty good job in the film. Or maybe we can talk about it UHF, perhaps, sometime? Mm. I mean, weird Al doesn't he deserve more love? I mean, he's all got all, all the love in the world, but, but what do you guys think? Put all those thoughts and those comments down below. Let me know, and as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.